Oscar, many congratulations on signing your new contract. How proud a moment is this for, for you and your family? Yeah, it's uh, an amazing moment, I think, to know that um, at least for, for a few years now, I'll get the chance to, to hopefully be a part of um, this club's first team is an honour. Yeah. And how easy was it to make this decision to commit for longer? Yeah, no, it's something I, I really wanted and when the opportunity came, I felt like it, it was the only thing that was right to do. Uh, just being a part of it now for the last couple of months, I feel like I've developed and learned more than ever. So, yeah, easy choice. You've been at the football club for four and a half years now. How would you describe your time here so far? Yeah, I think it's been great. I mean, the help I've got over the years from from staff, players, um, everyone around the club and in the city has been uh, great. So uh, I feel like it's been a very good place for me to develop and uh, hope to continue. We've watched your development closely and everyone's really enjoyed watching, watching you improve. I mean, how much do you feel you've developed, not just as a player, but as a person as well, while you've been here in Manchester? Yeah, I think I've, I've matured a lot. I moved here at 16 and uh, yeah, was a kid coming from uh, Oslo and uh, yeah, it's, it's a big part of my life now, Manchester, and uh, uh, I've enjoyed every second. Let's talk specifically about your progress this season since you, uh, you joined the first team. The last seven months, I'm sure, have been um, crazy, a whirlwind for you. I mean, wh what's it been like being involved with uh, the best club in the world, the best first team players in the world? Yeah, it's um, amazing. Um, like playing with some of my idols growing up is um, it's a dream come true. I think uh, it's strange talking to my friends at home. They always ask, how is it? How is it? And in a way, it is crazy, but you do get used to it. I mean, you start seeing them as people and not stars, and that's nice. Fantastic. And the confidence your teammates have in you is growing rapidly. Um, you know, we can see the, the positions they give you the ball on the pitch and how often that they pass you. Have you felt that, that the confidence that those around you have got in you has, has grown and grown as you've played more often? Yeah, I think, uh, of course, you build that um, trust over time, but every day training together, it helps a lot. Uh, and uh, I think it's about how, how much you demand it and want the ball as well. Uh, and I feel like I'm, I'm getting better and, and wanting it more and being more uh, confident. But yeah, it's, it's great to see. Have you been surprised at all by the speed of your improvement in the, in the last seven months? Um, in a way, yeah, but it's, um, I trained quite a few times with the first team last year. I did feel like I, I could uh, contribute or help with some things and uh, I feel like every day in training, getting better and more used to it, um, it's kind of natural that it shows. Just explain to us then how the academy does that. How does the academy here prepare somebody like yourself to come into that first team setup and and just know kind of what's expected of you and, and where you're supposed to be on the pitch and what you're supposed to do with the ball? It shows how, how well the club is run. Uh, you kind of develop that tactical mindset from an early age. Um, but also the man-to-man -man coaching is very good. And uh, Brian always told me last year, my coach, uh, because Pep is, uh, or the manager is tactically, that's what most people praise him for, but Brian told me that the, I think the most important thing you can do for, Pep, uh, for the manager of the first team is to run and work hard. And um, I think that really shows, you know, everyone that comes up, the ones before me, Rico, Cole, uh, Phil, they're not just, obviously they're great talents, but they're so humble, so hardworking. And I think, the process of being in the academy really lets you know that that's what you need to do. That sounds like great advice from Brian there. Uh, yep. Let's just talk about him for a second because he's such a big fan of yeah. yours. He's invested a lot of time and energy into your development. I mean, how important was he in, in that making that step up? Yeah, very important. I mean, I, before he came in, uh, I hadn't really played only 23s football. I'd only played 18s and I struggled a bit in the 23s, but then he came in and he showed a lot of confidence in me and uh, yeah, he helped me massively. I don't think 
I'd have gotten a chance here if not for him. And what about Pep? I mean, it must be amazing to work with him. Just describe to those of us who don't get the opportunity to be on the training pitch with him, just kind of how, how inspiring he is. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I, I grew up watching not only his uh, early City teams, but from his Barcelona and Bayern Munich days. And the type of football he plays is, um, is amazing. And, uh, and how he improves players, I think that's a, that's a big factor for why everyone wants to play under him. It's because he's proven time and time again that he improves players. And um, yeah, uh, he's so intense, so hardworking and a nice guy. Yeah. And for you as a proud Norwegian, we must ask you about Erling Haaland as well. Is that nice for you to have a fellow countryman in, in, in the setup who's probably got, got your best interests at heart and keeps an eye on you, I would have thought? Yeah, it, it helps a lot. You know, it's uh, so nice to have him and uh, have someone to talk to and ask for advice, everything. Um, I mean, he's, he's achieved a lot of the things I dream, dream to achieve. So. Um, having him around, helping me develop and just helping me settle in this year has helped me a lot. And in these seven months that you've been part of the first team set up, you've already been part of winning two trophies. Firstly, what have those experiences been like? And secondly, does it make you even more determined to, to add to that collection, add more trophies and more medals? Yeah, definitely. I think the, the first one was in August, I think. Yeah, it was to win the Super Cup was great. You know, playing against top level uh, European competition is is great. I think it, it gives you a different, uh, it's a different feeling than playing the domestic games. But um, yeah, and the Club World Cup was something special. I mean, uh, like world champions is, is crazy to say, but yeah, uh, I think for everyone that sees it, it's so inspiring. You've already got your own song with the City fans as well. For a player who's new to the first team setup, to, yeah. to have that and have them behind you, they clearly like you. Yeah. That must help, right? That must make you feel good. No, of course. It's great greatest feeling there is. Um I don't know when I heard it first time, but at first it was a bit of a shock, but then when I hear it now it, it gives me a lot of confidence and yeah, honestly it's great. And we've got to talk about that last win it, winner at Newcastle. Mm. An amazing piece of technical skill. So not only just a, a great moment for you, but a really brilliant piece of technical okay. skill. How did that feel? And, you know, looking back, you won Premier League Goal of the Month, of course. I mean, you must be thrilled about that. Yeah, it was uh, one of the best moments of my life, for sure. Um, I mean, just the feeling of actually helping the, the team in such an important game was was definitely special and yeah, it makes me want, want to experience and, and do it again. So you've got your new contracts, so you've got some stability, you've already got a couple of medals in the cabinet. Have you set yourself any other targets between now and the end of the season? <sighs> Not really. I, I want to be a part of winning uh, a trophy in May or June, that would be great. But uh, individually, I don't think I don't think this changes much in terms of how my day-to-day -day life is. Um, keep doing the same things, really. Brilliant. Well, Oscar, congratulations again on the new deal and the very best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you.